We're packing up camp at this tree farm area we camped at last night. Uh, we had to ascend about 200 feet on gravel roads to get here, so we're going to try and go out a different way that's behind me. It's labeled as a hiking trail on the map, but uh, we're not going to have to go up much. In fact, it's going to be, I think, mostly descent, and it's only it's less than a mile, so uh, I think it's easier than going all the way around and then having to climb another 200 feet to get to where the trail comes out over here. Starting off pretty rideable. Oh, maybe not one-handed though. It probably took us longer than just going around would have taken us, but hey, we didn't have to do that extra 200 feet of elevation gain. So I think it was worth it. It's kind of fun. Kind of. Okay, after that fun little adventure, we are back on pavement on the EV12. And today we've got to decide whether we're going to go through Edinburgh and then hook up with the coast uh, as we ride south towards London and eventually Dover. Not sure, we might just skip Edinburgh and go around it to the west. Uh, we kind of play things by ear every day. Um, we don't plan on doing anything in Edinburgh, so there's almost no reason for us to go in there and it's gonna be very trafficy. Uh, so we may just skip it and go around, but we haven't made up our mind yet. We've only been riding for about an hour, but we're already hungry, so we're having these macaroni pies, which we love. <laughs> They're amazing. Really good snack, very filling. So we kind of make up our route as we go along. We try to stick to main bike routes, but we also tend to just find other ways through areas if we want to see certain things. Um, we're using Osman with a bicycle route overlay, and right now we're deciding between taking the coastal route south of Edinburgh to Newcastle, um, and heading towards Dover that way, or going more inland and hooking up with National Cycle Route 72 to ride some of the Hadrian's Wall cycle path. Um, I'm really into Roman stuff, and I've always wanted to see Hadrian's Wall, so we might try to find a way there, but it's gonna be steeper and more um, kind of make it up as we go along, as opposed to just following the National Cycle Route 1 slash EV12 um, along the coast. We're just outside of Edinburgh and we got hungry again, so we're having a snack outside of this 15th century church. several bike routes, one of which is the John Muir Way. We've seen John Muir's name come up quite a lot, which is 
kind of cool after, you know, hiking the John Muir Trail and stuff in the U.S. But yeah, really nice bike path. So we diverged from the uh, National Bike Route 1 to take the John Muir Way for a little bit. Um, it was a really good decision. It was a little bit of single track, not too technical, nice gravel riding, and off of uh, busy streets as we make our way into Edinburgh. So yeah, it was a good choice. It added a little bit of distance to the route today, but it's definitely worth it. made it to Edinburgh. Uh, the cobble streets are really annoying when you're biking. is really beautiful and very very cool but being in a big city is also very overstimulating for me and I get extremely anxious <laughs> so trying to kind of balance everything out. Okay, we're out of Edinburgh on a little bike path headed out of the city. Uh, gonna try and get some groceries further outside of town so we don't have to shop at the tiny little grocery stores that are overpriced in the main city center. Really nice uh, bike route we've got here, headed south, trying to get up into the hills. We've done about 30 something miles so far today. Um, usually we shoot for 45 to 50 lately, but we're probably not gonna do that many seems like it's gonna rain, unfortunately. So we're just gonna try and get as far as we can out of the city and find a camping spot. Well, it wouldn't be a day of riding in Scotland without a rainstorm. It's inevitable. bike path is covered with snails and slugs that we have to dodge. It's pretty hard. We got to the grocery store a little bit late, so we're just eating outside the grocery store. We've got some ready-made pasta salad with extra chicken. It's about 9.20 and we've already gone about 46 miles. And so at this point, we're going to start looking for a place to camp. Um, we start looking at the map and the route ahead of us, looking for green spaces with uh, gravel roads leading into them. Usually those are forest service, tree farm type deals that are pretty easy to camp in. Um, we've already eaten dinner, so at this point, we're just looking for a place to set the tent up and, and crash for the night.
This area has been a little bit trickier than usual in Scotland to find wild camping. We're not super far outside of Edinburgh, so there's a lot of small towns and farmland, so we haven't really come across any good like forest service roads. Um, so we might have to camp kind of on the border of a field tonight, but it's getting late and we're pretty tired, <laughs> so might have to do. The midges are a pretty big challenge this time of year, and these bug nets do a pretty good job of keeping them out, but it makes it kind of hard to see things, which is a little bit annoying. <laughs> Andrew found the muddiest rock of all time as a hammering rock. Oops. <laughs> Gotta get in fast. Ooh. Not very fast. <laughs> Try to leave as many bugs behind as possible. 